I'm not gonna do. There's a squelp in chat, exclamation mark, both gatch to gatch. Right, so. What's going on? I don't even know. Oh, that's fine. It's working. It's just not working for my phone. That's marvellous. Right, so let us switch this to Guild of Dungeon Airing. There we go. So let's continue and see how well we do. There we go. Right, so last time we got a new hero, the ah. Ice Monk. Or is it the Ice Cream Monk? I think it's the Ice Cream Monk. So, we've got one more hero to try this time, because I don't think we tried them. Did we try the Ice Cream Monk last time? I don't think we did. Thank you, Horst Orbot, for the epic vampire on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. So yeah, we haven't. And they got way to scoop, so you got to keep them without equipping items in their hands. So you can get the extra bonus of an extra attack per hand, which... Well, an extra attack per card, which is pretty good, actually. So let's see what we've got. We've been kind of like throwing between three missions. I think Stream Raid is about to be finished. So let's wait a little while. Definitely had a hiccup already, that's great. Great start to the day. Right, so let's set off this before we pick our mission. We're gonna pick this one, we're gonna try out the Isn't that the one we get chased down by Minotaur? It is. We're not gonna do that one with the ice cream monk. We're gonna do that one with the ice cream monk. Oh no, that's another time limited one. Oh my god. Well time limited at the moment. So let's do stream radars. Let's set that off. We've got quite the army already. Right, so we don't need any help really. We're just gonna try and take out that troll. Should be easy enough. Rest. What is that thing? That thing is ranged. I mean, if we haste, nearly everything seems to be ranged, so that seems like it might be a good idea.
taking out the secondary army. We're having some problems with that one though. I mean, either way, we're going to have problems with that one. There we go. And then what are all these guys armored? Well, I seem to have at least one. Yeah, we've got all your left, so it's all good. And there we go, so congratulations, guys. There is our first loyalty chest of the day. So, congratulations to Balthazar TF, 200 gold, and Real Fancy for Flying Rogue Scroll. Congratulations, guys. Let's go on to the next fight, which is gold. And then we'll go for the silver, then we'll go for the boss. Better than a question mark, which could be a bronze. So what do we need to place? We need to place three tanks and fly five orc bearers. Well, orc slayers. We'll do the orc slayer because we know what can happen after a loyalty mission. Especially the first of the day, we could lose loads of people, so we're being sensible and dropping a legendary straight away. Nice, there we go, we're placed. Taking a plus one starting hand. We're gonna bottle. Where is spirit, which is what? Plus one, maybe? Feel like that's a good idea with this character. the Minotaur. Ah, uh, so the ritual is complete in that many, in 10 turns. We need to go pretty much straight down. <coughs> Bloody hell. That was not bad. Alright, since we're trying to be quick. Oh, actually, we can only go one square anyway, so... If we put a creature down, it doesn't really matter. So we'll do that. There we go. Because unfortunately we're going this way no matter what. Self-discard, oh my god. <laughs> Two scoops, here we go, four damage. Unfortunately, it did mean we had to discard. Well, we'll use frozen yoga. gonna damage us. We can't kill it yet either. And there we go. Fox guys is down. Let's choose some loot. So we don't want anything in our hand. We only want things that we can wear. So we can have a straight jacket. Or we can have that. We're gonna go for straight jackets, at least it gives us health and doesn't really give us any minuses. 
And we gain favour as well. What we need is some better cards. We can't actually do anything yet. We need some better room tile cards or we can't do a thing. So we're just going to end turn because there's nothing we can really do at this point. We've got to get there in 9 turns, so we're just not getting the cards. So let's take out the bat as quickly as we can. Oh wait, 4 damage. Perfect. We can't block it, so we may as well just deal as much damage as we can. Straight away. Right, so, we can have some better armour, that gives us actual some blocks. Yeah, that one gives us stupidity, we don't want that one. Can't have fatigue because that gets rid of our- oh! Oh, both of these get rid of our bonus. So yeah, we're just going to go with skip. Oh, we got some more loot as well to choose from. So if you get a corset, that gives us rekindle and repel, which is a good idea, because the other two are Male Koi, which gives us plus one starting hand in battle, but we get two scratch head cards, which is not worth it. Plus two health, it is pretty good, but I don't feel like the stupidity cards, unless they've got like a heal stuck on them, are worth it. So we're going to go with Corset. Right, does that mean we've actually got a card where it can move down? It does, in fact, mean that. And we've got treasure cards, so we can pretty much just stick a treasure down here and just zoom straight towards the uh, boss. So we're against another giant bat. We are going to use insight to block its attack and just draw a card because we can't get any damage through yet anyway because we've lost our other plus one to damage so now we only do three damage at max but it's still better than nothing so let's hit it with two scoops let's fling that ice cream at it ice cream you scream but you're gonna scream and we'll hit it with for two damage because it's going to heal off us either way. So we're just going to take that heart straight back off it. There we go, we get choice of loot. We don't want that one, we don't want that one, we don't want that one. So skip. Because this character gets plus one to every attack. If we do not actually equip anything in either of them cards. So... What we could do with, we could do with uh, trying to level up. Trying to level up being the optimum word. So we may as well try to kill a ghoul. Because we don't really want to take down a, a level 3 elemental while we're still quite low level. And we're just going to keep stacking up this way so... Uh, we don't get attracted to the Mimic or anything. Right, so let's enter. Let's see how this goes. So there we go, it's us against the Ghoul. Straight away it's got a pretty... Pain in the ass card there. So we're going to use Insight, we'll block one of the damage and draw a card. Which gives us an extra draw, so... Ooh. We're going to use free Frozen Yoga to get us two hearts back. And we are going to... We're going to hit it with two scoops because it'll kill itself. Perfect. Actually, we'll kill it. There is a wild Elgium in chat! Exclamation mark poke catch if you want it. 
So there we go, we got this another thing we can't car can't wear. But we can have a skull cap or tattered mail. Tattered mail will just give us plus one heart and plus one stupidity card, which we do not want. So we're gonna go with a skull cap. So we get counter, which is gonna give us three hit and one defense. We've got brace all, which blocks any damage and we can draw a card. Which is better than our option of uh, losing a card. Right, so what can we fight this time? We can fight a fire elemental before we fight the fire elemental. Well, I suppose we can use its bonus against it, but we could kill a ghost, which... Oh, it's tenacious. We'll try a fire elemental. We'll just go straight through. We've got to explore that tile anyway, so we've pretty much got to stomp through. But we don't know what we're going to face in the ritual area. So getting two fights in before is probably a good idea. So we are going to straight away use Insight to block its damage and get a card, because then it'll just take... Well, we'll both take damage, but we get an extra card, so we can get more chance of us getting a heal, is what I'm thinking. Um, we can't counter. It's going to do two damage to us no matter what. So, well, no, we could stop the... We are going to use a counter. We're going to use... Heal, deal free damage back to it. Thank you, Grave the Racer, for the epic portal swag bear on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. So we're going to counter, take one damage, block the other damage, deal free back. So we're in, we're in a better way now than it is. But we also lose a heart before it does. We are going to use Frozen Yoga. <laughs> we don't want to burn to death, that's for sure. Right, so we are going to use There Is No Scoop because that is the only move we can use. Because if we get hit, we're going to die. We've got no quick attacks to be able to beat it before it beats us, so... That was supposed to block it. Oh, it was unblockable attack. God damn it. <laughs> we couldn't win that one. How embarrassing to fall so fast. It seems that the luck just couldn't last. Oh well, there's always more volunteers. Just keep burning through those dungeons. At least we tried your ice cream, Monk. Right, so let's go for one of our decent characters on one of these two. So the Ice Cream Monk is... ...good to a point until you get to a... ...burning... ...thing like that. You can't expand the guild for a while, we need... ...750 gold, which is going to take a long time. So basically, we're just going to have to throw Dungeoneers at these missions until we finish one. So let's finish this one off. Right, who have we got? And who is doing well, that's the question. Yeah, let's check our Dungeoneers out, see which ones are doing the best. So we've got Zalel, who has... Actually, ran two dungeons and actually won them both. Which is surprising because that's the base class. Got Barry 2, who's also ran two. Got Health Nut, when you block, fully block and attack, deal one damage, start with one growth. We have Plom, who is out like. We've had him since like the start because of his boosts and whatnot. We've done well. And he actually has a load of boosts. Plus one loot choice. Start with armor plus one. Attracted to fountains. And plus two... Plus two health, but minus one starting hand size in battle, which is probably the one worst thing we've got for him. 
And I think all of us won one dungeon, yeah. Done one dungeon we run. Start with fire plus one. Tracks to fountains, draw a fountain every turn. Got Lif, who has done no dungeon runs. And we got Plum, who has done no dungeon runs. So I feel like we've got to go with Plum. So we are going to go with Plum. He is the highest. And we're going to try and take out this ice cream one up here. Um, the problem with these medallions is they only last two. We starting hand size in battle for the first two fights probably a good idea because he doesn't have that extra slot. So we get rid of that weakness and more chances of us getting decent cards. Sharp wit attacks in 12 turns. So we've basically got to level ourselves up until we take on the boss. Who is level 4, may I add? Ah. And we are going that direction. I don't think we can though. Right, so what we need to do is... We've got no decent rooms either. Wow. Can I really place here? Right, let's put a... Let's put a plain brain down, because um, that stupidity could work with us. Wait, have I chosen? I think I've chosen the wrong plum. I have chosen the wrong plum. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a good start. I've chosen the wrong plum. Marvellous. Well, discard card for discard card, shall we? Yeah! Cause it's the stupidity. Oh my god. Oh my... I used the wrong card. Discard its brain fart. Keep it being stupid. It's working. Um, what we are going to do is, we can't really use a block because it's not using attacks. So we're going to use an imaginary cannon. We're going to use stage presence to keep discarding its cards apparently. This is working! We've got a tactic! It's called keep discarding the cards that can't use any against us. Right, so what do we want this time? We Rekindle could be useful, Wooden Board could be useful, that could not be useful. So we could have more armour, or we could have some health, regaining options. We'll have a health regaining option. We leveled up. Yeah! And then the other plane brain decided to walk into us. Which is a plus because we get more XP. So let us just imaginary cannon it because we can't really block anything it's using against us. So it is now using pick a card against us. So we're going to use copycat. And we steal its card. Brain farts. It's the next card it's using against us. We are just going to hit it with pick a card. Oh, his hand is... He hasn't really got any cards to do that with. So we are just going to... Stage presence. We can start this off again. We can start getting rid of his useful cards and making him just go stupidity. Never knew this was an actual tactic I could use. It works. So we're just going to keep using stage presence. Getting rid of the decent cards. <laughs> I 
promise we do such little damage. Oh my god. Let's get rid of that, that's annoying. So it's actually going to use Brain Fart. And we're going to use Copycat. And we are gonna hit it with a rekindle. So yeah, my plan to use my other plum didn't go to plan, and we've accidentally picked the mine. So that was always a good thing. As long as we get luck, 12 turns of luck. We've done two fights in one turn though, so that is a good start. So we can get fire, we can get ruffled shirts. I feel like Swift, Swift is gonna be a good thing. I feel like the Paper Crown might actually be better than the one we've got. We're going to go for the Paper Crown. We don't really have a defence against blue, so... That gives us that defence that we need. So we just need to power up. That is all we need to do, so I'm going to put a wall with us there. We just need to keep killing things. We don't want that room there. We'll have it there though. Um, we want... Really, we want that room there. There we go. Raven of Pretend Sword. Fear this sword, walrus! We will take you down. Well, at least try. Right, so we are going to use bullhorns because we can do at least one damage. We can't block any um, blue attacks this time. And using holy seal might be a bit too soon, so... We're going to take a damage either way. But at least we can deal a damage. Of course, so we're going to start our stage presence tactic. Because it's got an unblockable move. And we're going to take out any annoying cards it's got. Like, for instance, Snowball can disappear. And we will block the boulder with our imaginary box. And we'll steal their boulder cards. I like the fact you can get cards a lot easier. And we are going to block it with copycats. We're going to increase our damage for all our attacks just by blocking for a little while. Because then we can build up our attacks. And there's some proper mega attacks, maybe. Oh, and we can steal the cards. Yeah, that's a good point. So next is Thin Air. We are going to block the Thin Air and not discard a card. And get health back. And we're going to steal all its cards. It's going to use a bite on us. We are going to use... Have we guessed? Have we guessed yet what I'm going to use? Because we can't block it. We can't kill it in one hit. Because I was thinking of using the imaginary cannon. We don't have any multiple attacks. So we're going to use Thin Air. We don't generally have as many physical attacks as we do the other ones. So what do I want to discard? Discard Snowball when it can't block our damage. So it's got another unblockable attack, which is fine, because we are just going to blow it up with a imaginary cannon. And there we go. The Walrus is down. We've leveled up again. Now let's choose some loot. Thing is, loot helps, but there's always that chance we're running something we can't actually take out. Oh, what do we hit? So, like, we've got enough. Do we have enough attacks? We've got a swift one there. We don't have any high blocking things. So, I don't feel like that's useful. The slag. I feel like the slag might is with that counter. It gives us a high power attack. That's got shift. But they're both the same slot. Thing is, I like to play defensively, so we're going to go with Slag Knight. There's a crow gunk in chat, exclamation mark, poke, catch, catch it. So 
So we are going to drop into this room. Look at that. He's looking forward to it. Wandering in Frail. What does Frail do again? Incoming physical attacks deal plus one damage. Problem is it's got 11 hit points. But that one's got 12. Wow. These brains are tough. Right, let's put it there. And let's see which one we run into first. We do just need to, like, place a load of creatures, so... I feel like we're going to run into that one next move, so... Thank you, Pickle Raider, for the epic bomb on the battlefield. Very much appreciate it. There we go. Straight into the bird brain. That's kind of how I planned it. So we don't lose our attack this turn. Huh, that's a good... That's... That's a... Yeah. Can you use imaginary cannon? Because, you know, we don't really have a good choice to start with on this one. But it does hurt itself, so we're going to block it with imaginary box to power up our attacks and not cause ourselves any more damage. We're going to steal its anger and never use it because it gives us damage. We are going to discard its card as it discards our card because why not? And we can do two damage to it. Could block it, but that's a waste of three blocks for just that. So we'll make it discard a card as well as us. So we are going to discard its restore, restore, of course. We don't want it to restore its hit points. That's silly. We're going to make it discard a card again. Oh god, which one do we... Well, we can block the claw, but we can't block the brain fart yet. Oh, look at that. Holy Seal. We'll use Holy Seal. Get a hit point back and get a claw card. So all that is going to do is obscure hand for the next round. It's going to be dead in the next round, so we're just going to claw it. I feel like I should have got the um, anti-blue attack card. But I'm an idiot, so we didn't do that. But then again, with them defences, why would I not go for that? Right, so we've got Slice Dice. We need that Holy Seal that kept us alive in that last one. We are going to equip an Anchor, though, because, you know, we need more physical stuff. That is for sure. <laughs> Definitely not running out of physical equipment. Now we're against the Spider Break. Let's hope we do well, because look how many hit points that thing's got. We are going to use Copycats. So we're going to block its damage and increase our damage ourselves. Unfortunately it's... F oh man, that's unblockable. We are going to discard one of its cards and hope it's got these cards that are actually useful to discard. Because uh, that hurts. We are going to discard Brain Fart because we've got a load of blocking for them ones. So we are going to block with... We're going to block one damage, take one, but it will take like three damage. So... We're kind of equaling things a little bit. Yeah, a bit more equal. Um, we are going to take... Oh, she... We're going to take two damage either way, but we're going to deal two damage back. We're in one of them hard binds at the moment. We don't have a quick card, which would have probably been useful. Oh, we're dead. We've got no blocks against... There we go. Draw a card! Oh my god, Bullhorn's great. Yep, we're dead. I mean, it kills us, yep, before we get to act. Oh, it was the wrong plan anyway. Oh, you come so close that time. Poor Dungeon Hill put down their prime. At least they didn't die in vain. They've inspired another of my lovely refrains. 
Right, so this time, we're going to pick the right character. Wow. Okay, that's perfect. Right, so one of these times we're going to get past this. And this is going to be that time. I say that, we're going to lose. We're going to lose one of our high levels. Why not? So let's go with Plum, the one we was originally going to go for. And increase the starting hand size like we was going to. Then again, this might be a bad choice as well, actually. Oh, look. We can go straight for the treasure chest. Let's do that. Okay, I'm fine. No. Damn you, sharp wit. And we're going to put a plain brain there. So, our battle is ready on stream leaders. Let's get that going in the background. Even though I won't, I'll sit there and watch it, but we know. Oh, wow, we've got quite a force still. I'm happy about this. Um, let us... What are we going to use this time? We've got slimes in front of us, which are armoured. We've got a mixture of all sorts of rearranged and we've got loads of ranged ones, but we've got some armoured ones. Oh no, loads of ranged ones. So we are going to go with Stronghold because we have a bunch of ranged. We're going to put it here. I feel like that's a good tactic. It doesn't look like I needed my Orc Slayer. It looks like you guys have this covered. There we go. Them, them range of the back are quite tough though. But we've got it. Easy peasy got this. Right, so congratulations to Balthazar TF for the Buster Scrolls, for two time Buster Scrolls, Mad Dog Air Pirate for Berserker Scroll, and Catbike Games also for Berserker Scroll. Congratulations, guys, and thank you for the help. Let's continue on to the next one Silver Chest time. Right, so we've got, we're, we are basically in a defensive formation. Um, what have we got a load of? We've got, oh, apparently ranged is perfect for this. So we probably want to throw something down that's ranged. So that is what we are possibly going to do. And we will have our box about here. If you guys manage to place before me, then I will place where the first one drops. Like you just did. <laughs> there we go. Let's continue. Let's see how we get on. Let's see if we can actually do this with our catnip character who probably can't. Because he's got more physical attacks and blocks than not. So we're just going to increase. We can't block the brain farts, but we can use catnip. Thank you, Balthazar, for the epic frozen war beast on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. You snuck that one in there. <laughs> right, so we can't really do anything about this one. We're going to throw a cat for four damage. And we know what throw cat does, and we know we can take it out next turn, so there we go. That's one cat thrown at it. And we're going to throw another cat. Because we know that's two damage to wipe it out. So we took one damage in that entire fight. Right, so we've got choice of the Holy Crown again. We've got choice of a wooden board, which gives us a counter. We don't really need any 
counters the... Oh, there we go. That's a good choice. We get a Glyph, which gives us Holy Seal and Mind Strike. That's better than the Holy Crown, so we're going to go for that. We've got a choice of a level 2 item. Very nice. Alright, so what choices do we have? We have the choice of Mountain Walrus or Mountain Walrus. We do need to level up, so... Will you stop talking? <laughs> We're going to put a walrus down and hope we can beat it. We should be able to. This is our highest level character, so we will hope so. And we're going to put another walrus there. Before we take down, try and take down a level freeze, which murdered us last time. Did these wander? Yeah, because that was the spider brain that took us down last time. So I'm going to leave it at these two for now. Are you kidding me? I love it. This game is so funny. It's right on my street. Right, so we still haven't got any bonuses to... Uh... Oh, at least we've got a quick attack. But we haven't got any bonuses to our starting hand size yet, which could be an issue because... We're slowly running out of time to get an extra draw. So it's going to hit us with two attacks. So we're going to usual catnip. We'll take the one, we'll take one extra damage. Why not? We'll just build up our attacks, and we're going to throw a cat. Of course we are. Why would we not throw a cat at them? Good old cat burglars. It's really loud when it does that. Also, it's got a blockable attack here that it's using. We are going to... We're going to block it and heal, our and heal ourselves one. We're looking for a cat. There we go. We'll throw a cat to finish it off. I want to know where this character gets all these cats from. Imagine being able to throw unlimited cats. <laughs> Can't spend favour. One hit point. Counter. Brace all. Don't want that. Um, do we have anything that can give us extra blocks? That one's got block hole. That's stalagmite. We'd lose holy seal though. But we would actually gain a... Num no, we won't gain a counter card. But it would be brace all. So it would be able to take out one super hit. And give us a... Count. It gives us a um, draw card, which I feel like might be a good idea. So we lose a heal, but we've got two counter cards of two different types. And the counter does a lot of damage. We're gonna go with the stalagmite. Kinda like that choice. We have long since evolved beyond the need for asses. That's as far as I got. Right, so the frail spider can go back there. We're gonna put the spider down. No, probably not the smartest idea, but, you know, we don't really have much of a choice. Oh. Fountain of Stupidity. Well, we don't want to go that way, then. So there we go. We can take out the walrus. Hopefully get some better items. Look, because we're down to two. We're down to two choices, so we can only throw a cat, really. We really need something with plus one starting hand size. So, if successful, we discard cards, but we've got a counter! We can counter the walruses, it's just the brains that are going to be the issue. Should have probably brought the full-fledged wizard in. We are going to use catnap, catnip, not catnap, wow, it's not completely different. There's a Mr. Rhyme in chat, you catch it using exclamation mark, both catch. 
We are going to use Pounce, which is also unblockable, because there's no point really using the Feral Cat when we do two damage either way. Don't really matter which attack we used. So there we go, we got some more loot. We got some high level loot as well this time, I think. Oh, that could be useful, and it interrupt that blocks too. And it swips, switches out with that. And gives us Fire Blast. What does Skullcap do? Shield Wall, that's no use That's no use in this one. So that one's per block. Oh, that's plus one to healing. We don't really want that. I mean, the plus one to healing is great, but that's... We block one damage to... Oh no, we block one damage and we gain two hit points. Not bad. But I feel like we're better with the Lantern. Because it actually gives us some block. So we're not going to take extra damage, we can block two instead. You know, to be fair, Brace does the exact same thing. But we do get another Swift card, so we're going for the Lantern. Some of the luck in this game is getting some items which are actually useful. So that one gives us a stupidity card, so we definitely don't want a pop skull. Cannot die unless on one health end of turn, that's pretty good. Gives us an extra turn. That one gives us Flame Lash and a hit point. So that one gives us an unblockable quick attack. I kind of like the Heater Shield. It gives us health as well. Oh, but we lose something with the Heater Shield. We lose the Lantern. Nah, it's not worth it. We're going to go with the Flintlock. We're going to go with the Pirate Option, Meorities. Gonna go with a flintlock block. And we are gonna try and pull ourselves away from that bloody falseness and stupidity. We're not gonna be able to. He's a glutton for punishment, he loves He loves fountains. Let's stop putting fountains down. That's probably a good idea. Maybe we can fight this guy before we get to it. Probably an idea, because we're more focused towards blocking physical hit. This guy should be more physical. Thinking about it in a strategic way. And we're going to give them like unlimited cat, unlimited enemies. So we're going to have the best stuff we face. Before we get to the boss. Oh great, we got no block card to start with. What does that do? Freeze opponent's hand, marvellous. There we go, we can shift and get out, we can draw a card quickly. So they're frozen that card. So they're gonna go for a discut uh, for a restore. Let's do some damage while they're trying to restore. Knock them elves back down. So it is gonna go to uh, deal us loads of damage. We don't really have any of our decent blocking cards out yet. We're gonna go for ignite. It's going to try and stagger us. Can't really do anything about that. We're not in a good way at the moment. It's got more hit points than us and it's using unblockable attacks. Oh, we've got Ignite on it. If we throw a cat, it should die. We may be down to one hit point, but it should die. That Ignite should take it down. There we go. We won. Luckily we ignited it. Right, so let's see if we get any better items, because we sure are struggling. Uh, that's not better than Lantern. Oh, look at all them blocks. That hat could be really useful. 
Or we could get a wolf pelt, which will give us loads of heals. Which is also probably a good thing. Get that. I feel like the wolf pelt is going to be the best option. Even though the mask is pretty good as well. We're going to go for the wolf pelt. We need the heals, really. So at least now we're level 4. I love it. No matter what we do, we can't avoid that stupidity. Even if I put another candlestick here, it's going to make no difference. There we go. No difference whatsoever. He still wants to go the silly way. I'm just probably increasing my chance of dying. By putting all these creatures down. We've got more hit points than he has though, huh? We are going to use Rekindle. Oh my god, discard a card straight away. That's not good for us. We can't do anything about it at all. So we're going to be down to one card. That's awful. So we're down to pure luck. Hey, we're going to do damage and we're going to be able to draw a card after he messes a little up with that. Oh, he didn't freeze any cards because we had no cards to freeze. Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to make me discard a card? It's quite mean. I should have probably gone for the restore because we could get screwed over by complete luck. At least we can't freeze any cards, but we are coming down to complete luck. We just need a card that does damage and can't be blocked. Oh my... At least we can't discard any more cards. All we needed was a combat card. There we go, there's a combat card. Let's not go for an elk again. That's probably an idea. Oh no, we've got stupidity next. Um, that was the one we saw. That's pretty good. Have we got anything that can give us plus to card size? Because that's what we need. No, we've got nothing. Oh, them two do give us... Mind Strike gives us um, a draw. So does that one. That gives multiple draws. I feel like the draws are the problem now. But we get one draw from that and we get some defense cards from these attacks, so... Problem is, now we get stupidity. Right, I feel like we just need to mop up creatures now. And get better items, pretty much. Yay, stupidity cards. Great. Can you use Fire Blast? It's our only option in that one. What a great draw to start with. Use the stupidity card. Look, look. Gives us another choice, which is probably better than it. Catnip. Ah, oh, great. Discards a card because we've got no blocks for it. Well, we're going to do free damage to it first. It can discard a scratch. Now we're back down to luck again. Can you shift and get a card back? And we're going to use Smite to take it down. These are only level 2, so I'm struggling with them. That's the bad thing. I 
think we've got about as good as we can. The problem we've got now is we've just got no draw. So we're just going to enter. Oh my god, my first two cards are awful. Well, let's use Restore and waste one of them hearts. Oh no, we gained the extra heart. I forgot about that. I always forget about that. Fire Blast, because we can't block that attack anyway. It's a good thing about this game, and in fact it gives you over hearts. Get a pounce. Can you shift? Take the two damage. Get an extra card. We're going to use Flame Lash to just take out before it even gets her out. There we go. Right, so let's see. Can we get any cards that give us a plus? to uh, our hand size. We've got cut. No, we can't. Oh, this one is down to luck. Luckily, that other one can't move. So we're going to corner it in there. And we're going to get the uh, favour. I feel like we need the favour. Because then against the last boss, we can just ah. use a card straight away to give us a bit more draw. Because the draw is the worst part. Okay, so we're going to deal one damage to it and then just restore the damage it does to us. So now we want to head. Uh, we're going to restore heart and catnip. Now we can't see what we're doing. Holy seal blocks the damage, so we're going to use that and restores a hit point. And pounce is the uh, one. It's the unblockable one. I mean, we can use that at some point. We're going to use Pounce. I mean, we're letting a lot of damage through, but look how much damage we're putting through. <laughs> I didn't realise we had that much damage saved up. Going to ignite it. Then we only need to put one damage through. Which we can do with our interrupts. There we go. Now we get to choose some more loot. So we get to choose out of stuff we've already declined, pretty much. And that one gives us a stupidity card, so no. See, like, them two are good, but if they were more physical and less, you know magical, then I'd go for it, but these creatures are very, 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 very. I don't like Ignite. Ignite does a load of things, but there's a haste there that actually gives us more blocks and more draw any. And I feel like draw any is going to be the death of us, so we need that swift card. We're going for the spear. There's a wild clang in chat, exclamation mark, podcast, catches bloody spider brain. 
Oh, here we go. That's a beautiful card to get straight away. We're gonna block it. We're not gonna block its damage. We're gonna get another draw card. I feel like we picked the best thing then. Straight away, it comes in useful. We are going to use Restore. Back to full. We're going to use Catnip. Of course we're going to use Catnip and build ourselves up. Why would we not? Or build our cats up, I guess it is. We'll block the one smite damage and hit that two damage. Make sure they're lower than us. Um, we'll do one damage for one damage, but we'll just repeal our damage back. Then if I've got four... Oh no, he does damage to himself, so... He's down to three, and we can use Fleet Footed and finish him off. Before he even gets time trap. Okay. I had more damage held back than I realised. Right, so we've got the choice of a Popsicle, we know we don't want that one. We've <coughs> choice of a frozen, Broken Bottle, we know we don't want that one. I need to get myself another drink, so I'll stop coughing. Um, yeah, we're all good there. It's a constant attacks. <laughs> Going well. We're absolutely murdering all foes, which is great. So let's see, what have we got? So, it's going to hide all our cards. That's fine, we're going to use... Rest we're going to use Restore, we know what haste does. We can draw a card if we need to. We don't exactly need to draw a card yet. So Scratch does some damage. Haste blocks multiple and gives us multiple cards. Well now, there is two damage coming towards us, so we're going to use haste. <laughs> and it damages itself, so perfect. And now we can see our cards again. So we are going to do damage to it and get health back. So it's just damaging itself, basically.
No, there is no raid. Wait, have I even got rain? Yeah, rainfall is on in the background. Okay. <laughs> I don't forget rainfall. Why would I think that? Right, so we've got a two spider bite coming at us. We don't really have anything to block. We're just gonna fire blast. We're gonna take the two damage. We'll fire blast it back. Good chart, this is good actually. We'll go for Mind Strike, we'll get another draw card. So we're going to take a bit of damage doing that, but at least it gives us more options what to do. Oh, look, Fleet Footed doesn't really come in useful at the moment, but at least we've got the choice of it. We are going to use Fleet Footed, it does two damage to them, three damage to them. I keep getting the extra damage from. Oh yeah, I get. Is it quick attacks that I get extra damage on? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Well, I thought it was. Right, so we are just going to smite. Block the damage it does and just shoot it in the face. Smite it in the face. Now we get to choose some more loot, and we've seen all these loots before, and we're like, nope, don't want any of them. We're doing well with the what the loot, with the loot we've got so far. I feel like we just gotta wait until it's attacking us now. We'll see if we actually turn and go for it instead. That's going to come and attack us. We might get a favour. I should have really put a creature here for favour. Not smart like that, what can I say? <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, I feel like we've got the... Uh, We've got the way to deal with it now. What the hell we done? I didn't... How the hell did a dragon... Can we just discard our own card at will? Why would we do that? Um, we are going to use... Smite, because all our cards are blocking. They're all blockable. That's the only one that does damage that we've got at the moment. Speaking of which... Oh, we're gonna go Mind Strike. I mean, we could repel, but... I mean, we'll just both take two damage. Give us a bonus there. Uh, we're gonna use Interrupt, because that'll block both the other damage. We'll just deal the damage. Each. Oh no, we'll deal two damage to them, actually. Make a fire blast them next turn. Perfect. Okay, never mind. Is it not a quick attack? It's not a quick attack. Right, so we can either we're gonna block it and we holy seal. Yeah. I mean, we're playing very strategically, considering we don't have to. Let's restore most of our damage while doing damage back. And then we can take it out with a cat or something at the end. So we're going to throw a cat. Why would we f use a fire blast when we can throw a cat at it? There we go. Number one dead. Let us uh, get the Stream Raiders battle going. So what did we put? What did I put down? I put down archers because archers are probably going to be yeah archers are going to be our best bet. So high ground. So obviously we're in defensive formation. We can't really do anything else than shoot out.
feel like we've got quite a lot of range considering. It didn't seem like we did have, but I think we've got a load more bombers than anything. <laughs> Problem. We're in a defensive formation, so everyone that's not moving is taking hits. But there we go. As long as we survive till the part where we can spread out an attack, like we've done. Good job, guys. Good job. We got there. We only lost like 20. It's not too bad. Eee, I killed three million units, finally. So, congratulations to Baltzar TF for your two times. Vampire Scrolls, Darth Minos for your Saint Scroll, and Globot Ruby for your Vampire Scrolls. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go for a boss fight. Well, we can take either one, really. So we've got the choice of Lair. Bosses are powerful enemies if you defeat them to get better prizes. Which I think that is a... Uh, probably an anti-range one, and that's... A... We'll just go for the bottom one with... Pretty much down the bottom anyway. And that doesn't seem too bad, actually. Where's the where's where is even the boss? That's a good question, that's pretty easy. Right, so we have got a range unit down here. What is our best unit for this? That is the question. What have we got to place? We've got to place tank, so we're going to place tank. We're going to place down at the bottom, because we've got someone down here already, so... We will make our way across the field. Even from down here, it's fine. I mean, it's, it works. Oh, I say from level to 10. Probably an idea. Thank you, Bad Star, for the epic frozen artillery on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. Right, so I need to get that daily quest, just in case it gives us something decent. Flag bearer scrolls times 15. <laughs> the game wants me to stop using flag bearers as well. All of my units should benefit you guys, by the way. I just put a tank unit on a... Wow. Just realise what I've done. <laughs> on the final battle, I've put a... Weak... <laughs> bronze unit on the battlefield. I'm s I apologise, guys. It should be alright, though. Got some snowballs. Uh, all physical attacks are quick, plus one damage if they're already quick. Can't spend favour. We don't want that. Gets rid of our haste. I think haste is our lifesaver at the moment. If I put the elk there, and if I put a candlestick there, there we go. We're going to get that favour, because, ah. you know, the extra draw card will help. We've got to be preparing, so we shouldn't really be slacking like I'm doing. So, he's going to restore two hit points and damage us. We're going to use haste. Because we never want to lose any of these battles because we make stupid choices. So. We're going to get a health back out of the two we lose and give ourselves a boost to attack. Let's block this guard. Yeah, it may be a waste of three blocks, but I don't like these guards. Not on this. Not at this point. The freeze, I don't know how long that lasts for. I'm guessing it only lasts for like one. Which is fine. I mean, we can use catnip. Oh, we 
can use. Fleet footed, which does four damage. <laughs> Again, yeah, we have to discard a card, but at least it's not frozen anymore. This this elk has so many blocks, so many discard cards. Will you stop? <laughs> There's one Nida King in chat, exclamation mark poke catch. If you want it. I definitely want it. I don't even know if I've got one. I've probably got like 17, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. We're going to use Restore. We're going to hit it with a... Damage. Gain 2 health. For lack of any better cards. We are going to pounce on it, because it's going to do 1 damage to us. So we'll do 1 damage to it. Yeah, I got myself a new king. We are going to use Scratch. This is the time where you realise that I've gone a bit heavy on the other defences. Eee, we've got a shift, so let's shift it up a gear and get ourselves another card. And let's throw a cat and wave goodbye to the elk. Say hello to that beautiful favour. So we've got winged staff. I've never seen a winged staff before. That's got blinding light, which blocks two. Divine shield. It's got focus, which gives health and a card. That gives a load of blocks. And it gives an attack. Oh. So it lose one card. But haste just gives us two cards. I kind of like the defensive options. We're going for the staff. It could be a really bad move, but... We've got the extra favour anyway, which will help. One turn until that attacks us. So we've pretty much just got to wait for it now. Right, so let's see how we go. We've got, we can do three damage, we can block all. Or we can Holy Seal and get ourselves hit points. So if successful, they get two health. We're gonna block it with Holy Seal. We can get ourselves hit point. We are going to repel. Let them damage themselves. We are going to block all divine damage. Do three back. We are going to use catnip. We know scratch is a quick attack. We are going to use blinding light. I'm not entirely sure what it does. Oh, that was a bit of a waste, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Can't see what I was using. We're going to use Mind Strike to get us a card. We are going to use Fire Blast to finish it off. Then I think we're against the boss. So let's choose some loot. We probably won't get any better loot because that was level 2. No, we'd lose too much. There we go, so let's skip. Here it comes.
Oh, what? Her blocked, it'll steal cards. Okay. Fucking. We've only got attack cards. Can that get. No. I cannot get through it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck, we just got screwed over by the fact we couldn't... Ah, oh, got too many fucking attack cards to start with. And we've got loads of block cards, but we just didn't get any. So let's use Fire Blast, because we can always build up our Cat Blasts. Thank you, Global Ruby, for the epic Roy on the Battlefield. Very much appreciated. Oh, it's still got Stupidity. Great. So we are going to take this to uh, heal ourselves. Let's improve the chances that we are going to stay alive. And we're going to throw a cat because the other two are defensive and this is an unblockable attack. Also, it's an attack we can't block anyway because it is a physical attack. We've only got defensive blocks. So we are going to use Divine Shield to block this Mind Wipe. Do free damage and win. We built up for a really easy fight. <laughs> you have finally beaten your foes. I offer my congratulations. But watching the way you train blows, you've actually lowered my expectations. Oh dear. We've got two bonuses, we've got an ice box, and there's cold in them var hills. So let's return to our guild. New Dungeoneer has arrived, the mine we got slaughtered last time. So it makes a difference, there's a huge difference between the power of, say, my mine, and my cat burglar who's won five dungeons. <laughs> Oh. Ah. So, let's do it. Let us continue and see how well we go against one of the other missions we've struggled with. Wait, did we get any bonuses for our dungeon here? So, Plum has finished five. Yeah, we still haven't got a bonus. So we're still cartleted. But we've earned 205 gold. That's just one character for throwing cats at people. So, let's go exploring. There we go, another success. We're going to try for this one. We're going to try take on the Minotaur. And plus one starting hand size for the first two. Thought we entered dungeon. No, we press close. There we go. Let's hope we can do it. Three stars behind us, if I remember correctly. Yep. So we need that to boost us. And we are going to put...
Plus some coins up there. So we are going to use pounce because we're not really going to stop anything. Oh no, we're going to repel that. Catnip that one. And we'll scratch, and I am just going to mute because there is the phone. Thank you very much, Imanu, for the placed for the epic Cyber Monk on the battlefield. Very much appreciated. There's a raid in Rainfall if someone wants if anyone wants to join it. There's a goth reader in chat, exclamation mark podcatch, and thank you, Grave the Racer, for the epic portals flag bear on the battlefield. Very much appreciated.
Right, it's time. Let us start Stream Raiders and then take out this Minotaur. And I apologise if there's like delay on stream or whatnot. This seems to be internet issues or some kind of Twitch issues or something. Not sure. There is a wild look here appears. Catch it using exclamation mark pokey catch. Seems to be having some right proper issues at the moment. Which can't be this game, because come on, there's nothing to it. And it's only just started recently, so. Right, so they are all melee. We are going to throw down a high ground about here. I hope it works. Hope our range units go this way as opposed to going up that way. Which, of course, doesn't happen because them ones are just stood there. Oh, some of our units are going that way. That's about them. Splitting into two armies now. Oh, they're all going for the middle. Oh, we've got some going up the top. That might actually come in useful if... Nope, our force are not turning around. Oh, no, they are. Oh, it might come in useful against the skellies if it lasts long enough. Nope, it didn't last long enough. Oh, we went in either way. <laughs> so there we go. Congratulations to everyone for getting this chest. And also, Balthazar and Jeff for your free times Berserk Scroll. Virtute and Haytax for your 50 gold. And Shock True for two times Barbarian Berserker Scrolls. Thank you very much guys, let's hope we continue onwards into the next fight. We are going to go for a yellow, a gold chest for a change. We haven't done that for a while, so we're going to do it. We're going to go up this silver way, so we keep people and we're going to go down from this gold chest to the blue chest and we'll go to the boss. Hopefully this time I remember what we're doing. So let's go in an open f clearing. <gasps> Somehow I'll give myself hiccups. It's great. Right, so we've got Hawk Slayer and three tanks. I don't think we can place an Hawk Slayer. No, we can't. So we're going to place a tank. We're going to place him up this way. And there we go. So let's continue our fight against the Min Minotaur. Or Minotaur, or however you want to pronounce it, all is good. All goes well. So let's finish him off. Or let's try to finish him off anyway. Um, so that isn't going to do us any favours. We're going to rekindle. So we'll get health back and do damage to him. He's going to try and use the body slam. We are going to repel it. We're going to repel most of the damage anyway. I don't know how I keep clicking and dragging everything. So we both take a damage from that as well. Can't stop the second one. I don't have the cards. I can do a little bit of damage. Well, we are going to go for a cat scratch, and that's a quick attack, so we go straight in, take him down. Minotaur is down. We've got past the cat, the the cat burglar has done it again. To describe such a terror, I hadn't planned on you eating those goods. I have much more material about you. Losing. <laughs> There we go, so we've done another one. We've finished another mission. With our super character that seems to be the cat. Cat burglar. Seems to be getting more and more powerful. I don't think he can get anything else. I think that's as powerful as he can get. Even though that starting hand does mess us up.
Right, so we've got 108 gold now. We still can't spend on anything. But we are going to our next game anyway. So, I'm going to load that up in the background. So, our next game is... So let us save, well we can't save yet, we haven't got it ready, we haven't got it switchable, now we have. There we go. Oh. Now we can switch it. So we are.